Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have one question for you. What do you do when you are tired? What do you go for? The bed. <laughs> well, most people can't do that during the day. Most of us go towards something like caffeine or coffee. I know me, I am a mother who right now I have a sick child and I have a child that's almost two so I don't think I need to say any more than that but I'm usually really tired and I know you're a um, father who works two jobs so I can stay home mm -hmm. so you're always tired so I drink coffee every morning yes and so I am um, very thankful that my friends Javi had reached out to me and asked me to try their coffee. I, a couple of my other YouTube friends I saw, they've tried it and reviewed it and they've really liked it and I was like, hey, I really want to try that too. And so I was really happy when Javi reached out to me also. So. I'm actually glad you're here because he's actually the coffee drinker. He drinks it black <laughs> and I'm more of the, I will have a little coffee with my creamer. <laughs> exactly. So he's going to be trying it with me today too. So are you ready to try it? Mm-hmm. All right, let's, let's go get it. Okay. So this is what the bottle looks like and it says, it is a coffee concentrate and it has 30 servings in one bottle. I'm going to go ahead and let David start making his because he's like, I got to drink it warm. And he's already has his hot um, um, water in his cup. Okay. So let me see your. And we have, um, it's one teaspoon for what, every six ounces? Uh, one to two yeah, teaspoons? One to two, I guess, depending on the strength. Is this already the... Yes, I have it on one teaspoon already. And they also provided me with these cool little... Um, what? It's a pouch. And there's a surprise inside. <laughs> they just been over there. Very, yeah. very precise. Is that two? No, that's one. One teaspoon. And they come with uh, these little straws. I think it went... Yeah, that's... This thing's not perfect. Okay. Pretty sure I had a tablespoon. Okay. Well, do you want to go get me another one so I want more precise? Sorry. Um, do you want to do yours again? Okay. And I come with these two um, little straws. They're the reusable ones because they're metal. With the little silicone ends. Thank you, Javi. And then you can have a little cleaner at the end because you always want to make sure you get all the all that stuff in there because you know that mold likes to hide in there. So it's pretty huge. I use. Pretty sure I use like four teaspoons. <laughs> well, he's gonna have some really strong coffee. There's still some left here. Uh oh. Okay, here. Because it went through this. Thing. Oh, with my own, yeah. That's not perfect. Yeah, that doesn't separate the liquid. Okay, so I'm going to pour mine into, well, here's my teaspoon. You went and got me another one. That's almost my face. Almost a teaspoon. And I got me, I'm going to make mine iced. Should I do one or two? Two. Teaspoons. Probably start off with one just to see how you like it. And lately I've been like lactose intolerant. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to use, well, I'm going to still use my, my creamers. Okay. I'm just going to put a little oh, slash. Oh. And then I'm going to fill the rest of it up with almond milk. I think I'm going to test mine just yeah, to see because I think it's probably strong just probably because I, really I think strong. I got a tablespoon because of that thing. I think you got like... I don't think I got a full cake. tablespoon because I didn't because I realized it was going through that thing and I'm like wait a minute this is bigger than a teaspoon. That's good coffee. It's good. I like that. <laughs> really strong. I, I, I had six ounces 
Well, I made a uh, Oops, I um, an eight ounce cup of just hot water from the uh, Keurig. And then I just took two ounces out to do the six that I asked on here. Um, but since I uh, <laughs> over added, I, I went ahead and just added the, the Oh yeah, that broke. It'll still work much. Well, you can do your finger, so it's not mine. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Here, come on. Oh. Oh, okay. There you go. We'll go put it right in front of the camera. Oops, sorry. And let me get my little straw out here. We're going to mix Actually, it up. Actually, this is... There, now, there's a lot of coffees that are hard to drink black. Because they just don't taste good, or they're grainy, or they're... You know, they're not like pure coffee, I guess you would say, or it's mixed with other stuff, maybe dirt. Oh um, my god. This is, this is really good black, like just black. I, and I added, um, I added at least two teaspoons, and I'm a coffee drinker, so for me, uh, when I did, let's see, it says one teaspoon for six ounces, but I'm pretty sure I did at least two teaspoons so I ate, I ate it at two teaspoons up to one tablespoon so a little over but I like black so that's why I added the two ounces back so with I eight ounces it's fine I don't know if I'm just getting a bunch of creamer or almond milk or if I'm getting a lot of coffee but this is good um yeah like I, I added I mean if you really like strong let me get a little go more ahead go ahead and add the two um because I guess I'm now ranking it with the two teaspoons or a little bit more um, if you're an avid black coffee drinker, I would start with the two teaspoons first and then mix it with, I just did plain hot water. Um, I did the eight ounce cup, but I like mine a little stronger. But you can always do the bigger cup. Now this is good. This is one of those things where I could wake up Saturday morning and I need to enjoy my coffee. Before the kids are awake? There's not a lot of coffee where I can sit back and just enjoy the flavor and taste of coffee. That's why I've had to switch. Like, I'm not a coffee snob. I don't get expensive. I don't grind my own because I just don't have the time to grind my own. I would love to do it. I've thought about doing that because um, I know that's the freshest and I like fresh coffee. When I go and go out to places and get brewed coffee, I love coffee shops because they're just so fresh. But this with the concentrate, the, I'm, I don't want to say shocked. I guess I wasn't sure because it's, you know, liquid coffee that's already been in... Coffee concentrate. Concentrate, Micro which has, you know, already been in coffee form. What else, should we talk about, like, talk what it says about in the back? Mm. It says, simply, get started, simply take one to two teaspoons of microdose and mix it with your favorite liquid for a perfect cup of coffee. Yes. That's why you picked water for yes, your because i do that anyways because with my keurig obviously i just drink black and i i'll add a little cream every now and then but and, I, and that's why i picked almond milk and my creamer mm -hmm. and then it Let says oh yours. yeah taste it mm. that's oh, really wow. good isn't it i think the cinnamon vanilla i just really like that cream but yeah but you can taste that coffee in it too this is that's like a it said packs a punch. <laughs> I could do that instead of going to get a frappuccino. I know, like right? That's, I mean, you, you can have, if you want whipped cream. Get, I mean, you've added the nitro cream, so it's not yeah. foam. But if you like the whipped topping, especially with this coffee made cinnamon and vanilla, not a sponsor. And it says. <laughs> it just really tastes good with that cinnamon and vanilla. It says one to two teaspoons serving for yeah. per container. But it. 30, 30, there's 30. In here, well, probably like 29. About 30 servings. It, like. For me, it would be, I guess, since I use two. Um, if this, if the serving is a teaspoon, so I, I assume they mean 30 per teaspoon. Uh, we yeah. may have to look. It doesn't specify, but since it does say to get started one to two, uh, I assume it's 30 teaspoons, and then maybe 15 if you use two. That's what I'll go by, unless Javi. Oh, it's in Aiden, Texas. Mm, that's good. Waco bottling, Woodway, Texas. I, I mean, oh, it's I, bottles in Texas. But thinking about it, even if it was a 15 cups, if you like it strong and it's Fellow 15 Texan. cups, I mean, it's it's much 
more reasonably priced than getting like a single cup Keurig. So like if you're a Keurig person, you don't want to brew four cups of coffee to make a pot. Yeah, go check. Well, like I'll this leave. would be much cheaper than, you know, obviously ground coffee in a big cup is going to be the cheapest economic wise. But flavor wise, it's hard to get this profile and I've looked for it. Not in a big cup. And I, I like to save money because, you know, I don't have it. <laughs> so th this is really one of my top favorites, I would say. I'm going to leave the uh, their mm -hmm. website down below so you can go mm -hmm. check them out. I suggest trying it, even if you're on the economy, because this this will save you if you're if you're a Keurig drinker. So yeah. I really like it. Yeah. It's like 15k cups or 30 if you don't like heavy coffee. If you're not a heavy coffee drinker, that's 30 cups right there. So. All right, I give mm -hmm. it a thumbs up. Definitely. All right, so if you like it, go. Down in the description, I'll have the link to the website. Yeah, go yep. check it out. And we just got their um, regular coffee concentrate. It's a six ounce bottle, so I'm sure they have different sizes. I need to no, no, no. <laughs> go check out their website. All right, I'll see you on my next video. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Bye. Bye.